What's going on guys, Victor here, back with another Catch, Clean, and Cook. So the other day I went up to Sebastian Inlet, one of my favorite spots to fish in Florida. This is an inlet, it's a state park we have here, and it is full of life. You got bluefish, mackerel, uh, goliath grouper, snook, you got all sorts of stuff. The water's just teeming with life. And one of the things that my buddy Chris and I actually got are these Spanish mackerel right here. I'm Slovakian, and my grandma makes this killer, killer fish salad, and that's exactly what I want to prepare for you guys in this video, so stay Stay tuned. All right, let's get on this hot mackerel bite. Whoa. <laughs> I turned around so I didn't get any of it on camera, but that sucks. That's like the one wave that got me yesterday. My boot is so wet right <laughs> Rogue wave. Oh, they're way out there. I just saw them bust. So these mackerel are just out of range for Chris and I. They keep coming in and just these little waves and they are crushing glass minnows. These glass minnows, which are about this big. That's why we're throwing these right here. It's a crappie jig and everything in the ocean, like I always say in my videos, eats a little white jig like this because it matches the profile of a glass minnow. So Chris has caught three and I have caught zero so far, but I just started fishing. Oh, right there. Finally. There we go. We got ourselves a Mac. And to the cooler it goes, along with Chris's three. So they're not big max today, but they're keepers. And uh, I got a recipe I want to try with them. So I'm going to do a catch and cook with them. There. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and every time you get hit, I turn around thinking I'm going to get hit and it doesn't happen. <laughs> Dude, just, just get out of there already. So you guys see the way I'm working this thing. It's a little crappie jig and these glass minnows are running for their lives from the max. So I'm working it real fast, real, real fast and popping it. Oh, mackerel blitz. Oh, you got one? I, I got hit just as that happened too. Is that mackerel blue? Gracias. Number two. All types of meat. They kill for turn crappie jig. Oh yeah, you need a new one. Mackerel delivery. Bluefish in the inlet. Yep. Small one though, right? Alright, time to get out there. Only thing I hate about mackerel fishing, scales. Lots of them. Dude, all the glass minnows they're spitting up. I don't know though. You've had, you've gone through how many jigs? I just, guys just get. Sometimes you just get what? Six jigs? Yeah. <laughs> six jigs? That's One jig. You got enough for your. Chris and I decided we're done mackerel fishing. We got plenty for the dinner table, for my grandma to make that uh, fish salad. I got all these mackerel in front of me. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to clean it in case you get your own. Uh, Spanish mackerel, very, very good fish to eat. Got flaky fillets and uh, very good if you eat them in the first two, three days. So we're going to take this guy right here and they're not very big. They don't have a ton of meat on them, but they're not very bony. So you do get a lot of meat off of them 
for that fish, for, for its size, you know? So now these guys are very easy to flay. What I like to do, since they're small, they're very soft, they don't have a lot of bones. What you can do is you make that one incision right there, and then you go down this way. You gotta make sure you get over this little dorsal fin and over his backbone, and then you kind of just work your knife slowly, just patiently, and you feel your knife running along its backbone, and then you should be able to get every last bit of meat. Because you see it right there, you see how it's very translucent? That's a good fillet job right there. And you don't have to be tedious. You guys have seen me in the past where, you know, you make your incision right behind the peck fin and you slowly work your way down. That's good for snapper, for bigger, broader species, tuna and such, but long slender fish like this and small fish, it's very easy to just run your knife right alongside that backbone. Look at those fillets. They look like some pretty damn good fillets. Spanish mackerel don't have that big of a bloodline. And a lot of people, I'm not gonna leave the skin on, but a lot of people, you can actually eat this with the skin on. The skin gives it a really, really good flavor, but for this particular recipe, we're doing a fish salad and my grandma doesn't want the skin on. But I'm telling you guys, try it with the skin on. Sometimes it gets crispy, it has a lot of flavor. One thing I really love about these fish guys, they are so pretty and they have these just yellow spots right there. Really just a cool fish, they're aggressive and just a blast to catch. Welcome back to the kitchen and it's voiceover time. We're gonna jump right into it and this is a very easy, simple recipe. You guys are gonna start with salt, bay leaves, black peppercorn, and vinegar and this is definitely a recipe that you need to go by exact measurements and you guys are gonna see why. So starting out, I got three liters of water and everything in this recipe is metric because Europeans use the metric system and this is my grandma's recipe so that's why we're doing it that way. So three liters of water, as I said, and uh, just you know going into a big pot, you want a pot big enough to fit all your fish in because your fish is gonna go in here, as well as 300 milliliters of vinegar. This is just regular plain white distilled vinegar. I'm using Publix brand. You don't have to get fancy with this, but make sure it is plain vinegar as well as 10 black peppercorns, which is gonna go straight into our water. And then around five to six bay leaves. Uh, you can go a little bit more, a little bit less, but try to keep it right around there. And uh, we are also going to add some salt. I think this was, uh, no, this was a teaspoon of salt into our water. And I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. And when it's boiling, I wanted to boil it for at least five minutes, get all those flavors developed. I took five carrots around this size. Make sure you uh, shave those outsides, get it nice and cleaned up. And then I have this grate, this different sized grate. And I went with this size setting right here. You can use one very similar to this, but you definitely want finely shredded carrots and it's going into our bowl. And you guys are gonna see the texture in just a second. This is the exact texture you want your carrots. Now, these carrots are gonna go into some boiling water as well. But let me show you guys the fish real quick. I went with mackerel. You guys will see at the end of the video, you can use a wide variety of fish for this recipe. And after our bay leaf mixture has boiled for five minutes, we add our fish in and you leave it in there for 15 minutes, no longer, no less. So. Uh, keep that uh, water on boiling with the fish. Then we put our carrots into boiling water for five minutes, just five minutes, quickly boil them up and then put them through a sieve. Make sure you get rid of all that moisture. Same thing with our fish. You can put them in the exact same sieve. And then we're gonna put all of our fish and our carrots into one big uh, stainless steel bowl. Now I got one medium uh, onion right here. You guys see the exact size of this and I want to dice this into as fine pieces as possible because with any dip you you, you want you know nice uniform small uh, just enjoyable to eat pieces of veggies which I think goes best and you guys see I flaked my fish as well as my carrots and that is the the right size and texture you want you guys see how finely minced the onions are now we're gonna do one whole lemon so the juice of one lemon uh, make sure you don't get any seeds in there and if you do pick them out now we got one uh, big spoon this is a big spoon of just plain yellow mustard uh, black pepper we're gonna do one teaspoon of black pepper and now this is where I'm breaking away from the traditional Slovakian recipe 
to get it a little bit lighter, I went with 2% uh, Greek yogurt. Traditionally, this is made with only mayonnaise. One thing I forgot to mention is this recipe calls for either a kilogram of fish or right around two pounds. Uh, we got real mayonnaise going in there. I did that one container of the Greek yogurt and now we're doing 300 milliliters of mayonnaise as well and put it all into that mixing bowl and now we're gonna mix it and just make sure it's nice and uniform in size and texture put it in the fridge let it sit for 24 hours and there you have it all right guys so it has been 24 hours actually this is like the third day of our tresca our fish dip our fish salad and this is a a, a type of meal where you don't want to eat it the first day you want to let it sit for 24 hours thank you grandma for teaching me the recipe you're very welcome and this is a big thing in slovakia right yeah people love it yeah Flavor. it's very very tasty yeah yeah you guys seriously try this because so i've made fish dip in the past and tuna salad is also something really popular in slovakia but we make it differently we mix it with sardines and stuff but this is kind of like a mix between fish dip like smoked fish dip without the smoky yeah. flavor yeah yeah it's a little bit lighter yeah and kind of a mix of tuna salad all these flavors come together it's really good it's yeah it's light and the way we eat it so I eat it more like a spread. You yeah, can treat please. it like you too, right? Yeah. That's like the traditional Slovakian way. Yeah. But if you want, you know, you grab some restaurant style tortilla chips, you dip yeah. it in there. We Slovakians are huge on our spreads. So we put spreads on bread all yeah. the time. We love bread. So that's the way I'm gonna eat it. And traditionally this is made with cod, right? Yeah. Cod. Yeah. But you don't have to use it. You, I mean, mackerel, bluefish, pompano, dolphin, wahoo. Anything you could possibly imagine as long as the fish is white, white and fish. flakes yeah. nicely. You want yeah. it to flake nicely because you want it to be very fine. It's a, it's definitely a finer dip. So make sure you get a, a fine textured fish and there you have it. And you you get fish. It's much cheaper. You're making more for whole family yeah. because tuna uh, is small, yeah. you know, small can. You need more can you making for family. Oh yeah, this would be okay. like 10 cans of tuna yeah. fish. Yeah, maybe more because we eat a couple days. <laughs> yeah, this was full. We're almost yeah. done with it. Yeah. That's how good it is. Yeah, it's very good. So yeah. from our family to yours, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. See you guys in that next video.